Abbott has announced plans to build a border wall along the state's boundary with Mexico. This comes as illegal immigrants continue to flood the border in unprecedented numbers. Governor Abbott has not yet specified how much the wall would cost or when construction would begin. Joining us now to discuss is Brevard County, Florida Sheriff, Sheriff Wayne Ivey, and constitutional law attorney Amir Benno. Uh, Sheriff, I'll start with you and ask you, um, what needs to be done along that border? I know you're somebody that has monitored the border for quite some time. And why is it necessary? Uh, and should the state be doing this? Well, absolutely not. The state shouldn't have to do this. This uh, falls upon the federal government to do. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not being done. So bravo to Governor Abbott for taking the lead. Uh, he uh, is a lot like our governor here in Florida, Governor DeSantis, who is standing very strong on illegal immigration and uh, you know, it's a shame he's having to do it, but he recognizes that government's one and only responsibility is to protect its citizens. And he's going that extra distance to protect uh, those out there immediately on the border. And in doing so, he's protecting all of our country because, as everyone knows, illegal immigration doesn't stop at the border. It filters into every part of our country. Yeah, that's what a lot of folks are saying. Amir, can, can Governor Abbott do this legally? Uh Yes. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, the sheriff's co correct. Uh, at first, the, in the first instance, the federal government has the obligation to control its own borders and to determine who comes in and who uh, can get removed. Um, but that doesn't mean that the states don't have their own obligations territorially to protect against uh, drugs. We've seen a huge in, uh, influx and uptick in fentanyl. Uh, the, the surge in the number of people who are taxing community resources and public safety. So the state obviously does have an interest and it has no legal barrier uh, to actually doing what Governor Abbott is seeking to do. Uh, Sheriff, I wanted to get your take on the vice president, Kamala Harris, uh, who gave this response when she was interviewed by Univision host. Uh, I, I don't know her, her, the host name, but uh, she talked to her yesterday. I said I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked. I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. And also, if we are going to deal with the problems at the border, we have to deal with the problems that cause people to go to the border, to flee to the border. And that is the root causes. So my first trip as Vice President of the United States was to go in terms of a foreign trip to Guatemala, to be on the ground there. What do you think about her response there, Sheriff? Look, like General Patton once said, I don't give a hoot in hell about uh, root causes of another country. What I care about is we've got homeless veterans, homeless children, people right here that they're talking about spending $4 billion of taxpayers' money to go deal with the root causes of another country, another region. We, we've got problems right here. And the biggest problem is that they've opened the borders. You want to talk about the crisis at the border, it's very simple. The root cause of that is that they've opened our borders and they've handcuffed our Customs and Border Patrol agents. And I'll tell you, you know, there's a, there's a lot of us sheriffs from Protect America now that have absolutely started to uh, come out and speak. You see them all the time out uh, talking about the, the impact of illegal immigration in our community. If you haven't had a chance, visit protectamericanow.com and you'll see all the different things that we're focused on. And you go back to Governor Abbott. Governor Abbott is having to stand at the wall, stand at the border and defend our country when the federal government should be doing it. So to say I'm going to go to the border is kind of like me saying I'm going to die. I haven't yet. Uh, but she needs to get down to the border and see the real impact that's happening. Uh, Amir, she, Kamala Harris really uh, has been interested. She's given interesting responses to the media. I'm sure you've seen them. Uh, and a lot of critics are saying, why hasn't she gone to the border and will it even make a difference? But she really isn't coming off as, as a strong vice president. Well, certainly not, Allison. I mean, she, this focus on root causes, I've said it before, it's it's imagine a, a cancer patient going to a doctor uh, for treatment and the doctor saying, well, I'm not going to treat your cancer, but I'm going to try to stamp out the tobacco industry instead. We're going to focus on that. That's about uh, the equivalent of what what Kamala Harris is doing here. It's not addressing the, commu the, the problems that the border communities are facing. It's not going to address uh, the problems that are our, our greater 
the nation is facing at the border. Uh, she's weak. She hasn't gone there. I, anybody can speculate as to why. It's probably because she doesn't want to be uh, tagged with with this big problem. It's a third rail on politics for her to say, this was mine and here I am sh highlighting it for you. And when people can see how disastrous it's been. But it's a, it's a human rights crisis. Uh, and she has just completely fumbled uh, on this issue. And Amir, uh, getting to the legal ability to do th this uh, along the border from the state, I assume the federal government, the administration, will challenge them on that if that happens. So does this come to, do you think this ends up in the Supreme Court? Because it seems like neither side will be satisfied with an answer, and how long could that take? Well, it will end up in court. Um, and the reason why is that the government, the federal government, is going to say that this is the exclusive province of the federal government to deal with the border. Um, and they're going to assert a doctrine called preemption, saying that uh, federal law governs in this area, not state law. Uh, and so, therefore, state action is preempted or foreclosed. Uh, this, the problem with that is there's no law that conflicts, that stops Governor Abbott from building this. And in fact, some of the criminal provisions of the Immigration and Nationality Act actually explicitly give state and local law enforcement uh, the legal right to enforce those criminal provisions of the INA. So the question then becomes, and this is what's going to go to the court, is building a wall to stop criminal elements from coming in, trespassers, drug traffickers, human traffickers, is that an extension of the state and local government's inherent right? And that's what the courts say, that the state and local governments have the inherent right to enforce these criminal provisions of federal law. Is it part of their inherent right to protect their citizens mm -hmm. uh, against crime? And so that's the issue that's going to go to the court. It may wend its way to the Supreme Court ultimately. Uh, but I think that Governor Abbott's got the got the, the better hand here. Yeah. And certainly a lot of people want to see something done. I, I'm sure Sheriff Wayne Ivey would agree with that. So thank you, sir, for joining us.